93. I mean, it ain't 110, but it's Chicago. Boy, those guys in there in that Indian shop, they landed on a gold mine. Unbelievable. They said the shop's been open for five weeks. For some shop that just popped up, that's in the perfect spot. They are absolutely in the heart of Lake County, Illinois. In super yuppie town, people that'll... He said two people walked by today. They walked by. They weren't here to buy a motorcycle. They walked by today, came in, and bought... Each one of them bought a Scout. Boy, I'll tell you what. Those guys that I was talking to in there were actually co-owners. The, the two of them decided to open the place because they got sick of working a corporate job. I mean, you've got, you've got people with disposable income walking by all day long. And then I stayed, uh, they locked the door while I was in there. I kind of showed up 10 minutes with 10 minutes left. They locked the door. I came out, took a picture. And then there were still people trying to get in. No idea where I am. Ooh. <laughs> Luckily I was doing the speed limit. <laughs> Come on, Green. Kidding me. Yes. I was about to exercise my right as an Illinois motorcyclist that if the light doesn't change and I deem it safe to cross the road, I may do so on a red light. Can't tell you how many times I've been burned sitting in the left turn lane. And there's no left arrow, and it just keeps cycling and cycling. Either that, or it doesn't change at all. And then I have to turn, make a right turn, and then go down and turn around, or something like that, just so I can obey the law. But now, as of 2015, if it's safe to cross and you've waited long enough, I don't know. I'll have to get the exact. Whoa. I just realized that I haven't eaten lunch. And it's what, six o'clock? I know what I want for dinner though. Little Pandy Spress. Oh, <laughs> I want Pandy Spress so bad now. Get a little of that orange chicken. Maybe a lot of that orange chicken. That's what you do, you just gotta get the gotta get the fried rice and then you gotta get the double orange chicken. So they got a big old pan, they know you want to. My wife's at home. Actually, I spent all day washing her vehicle because, well, not all day. Went to the dog park, took Klaus to the dog park. He's a maniac. Then came home, it was a super nice day, and by super nice I mean super hot and sunny. My wife was like, oh I've got this white car and it's so dirty. Why don't you wash it? It's like, why don't you wash it? So there I was washing the car, and it turned out pretty nice. And then in the end, when I was all done, I, uh, I have no idea where I am. I want to go left here, I think, though. Yes. Uh, hot. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? So I'm going to get home, I'm going to kick down the door and tell my wife, guess what? Tonight you're going to have a little Pandy Express for dinner. And if she doesn't like it, she can starve. Or make whatever she wants for dinner. I suppose that's acceptable. Go. Go. Well, the temperature said it was 93, but you get a little wind moving even with these long sleeves. Get a little breeze going through. Not bad. What we got here? 
whole Ferrari. If this bike were a Ferrari, it would be a testy roaster. <laughs> Get it? Could this be a Hellcat? Oh, it was a Hellcat! Come on. I think that white girl was wooing in that Mustang. <laughs> that was a Mustang Cobra. I've got to think of a witty greeting and a witty sign off. Something like, well, that looks like about it for this one. And remember, you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>